This exotic variety of mushroom is known as wood ear mushroom. It's also known as jelly mushroom and called by various names like black mushroom, tree ear mushroom or the cloud ear mushroom etc. This mushroom is in very high demand due to its delicious taste and extraordinary medicinal properties. Right now at present day in India itself the retail price of this mushroom ho- is hovering around 4.5000 to 5000 per kilogram. The demand for this exotic mushroom is growing day by day. Uh, the main factor are uh, actually it's very delicious and it blends with every kind of cuisine. The mushroom species belongs to Auricularia, a genus of jelly fungi. Wood ear mushrooms look similar to another variety of mushroom known as amber jelly roll mushroom. Both the mushrooms are edible. The mushroom can be found throughout the year in temperate regions worldwide. It grows naturally on dead and living woods even though it's easily found all across the globe. The best thing is that you can cultivate this mushroom easily. It can be grown at your um, home, small farm, small tent or at large commercial farms. In this video, you will learn everything about this mushroom. So how to cook this mushroom? If you are using the dried wood ear mushroom, the mushroom needs to be soaked in warm water for at least 15 to 20 minutes and you will see soon it will puff up to several times its normal size just like its fresh form. Hence, uh, they are very good uh, in a dried form and most of the public are demanding them in the dried form itself as they are easy to preserve and use uh, whenever we need as they can regain their size quite easily. Its taste is very unique when you are chewing it even though it will feel slippery soft but it will be crunchy as well which is very unique in itself and very pleasant. Uh, the cloudier or the woodier mushroom is often or added to the hot and sour soup or it's simply stir fried in several dishes. It blends easily with a lot of varieties of, varieties of cuisines like uh, the black mushroom salad which is a popular item. The delicacy is very crinkly and hence it can be really uh, used as a salad or an add-on with any kind of cuisine whichever we can think of. The cultivation. Let's understand about the cultivation method of this mushroom. Things you will need for growing this mushroom is first of all a farm or a growing chamber which even you can use at your home. The uh, mushroom grows uh, easily on sawdust or hardwood hardwood substrates so you can have your sawdust or the pellets or wood chips etc. Then you will need the PP bags uh, which are actually heat resistant uh, especially made for this kind of uh, mushroom uh, cultivation and you will need an autoclave or a pressure vessel you can also use your pressure cooker or any steam vessel like canning machine whichever you are having in your home and last but not the least you will need the spawn a spawn are nothing but a living mycelium uh, which are inoculated on a sterilized grain which are of good quality with uh, very good strain and you can also make your spawn yourself or you can buy from us just visit bmmushroom.com and you will get the spawn of this variety when you are setting up your farm uh, the factor which will ensure your success is the environmental parameters so this mushroom uh, has its own environment which is quite suitable for year-round cultivation the vegetative phase when the mycelium spreads throughout this mushroom you need to maintain a temperature range of 24 degree to 30 degree celsius and during the fruiting stage you need to maintain around 20 to 28 degree celsius so it's just like oyster mushroom if you can grow oyster mushrooms at your place then you can easily grow this mushroom as well the relative humidity you need to maintain about uh, 90 to 95 percent throughout the vegetative and fruiting phase light and the light sensitivity it's like it doesn't need much light during the vegetative phase but during the fruiting stage you can provide around 8 to 10 hours of low intensity light it will help the um, fruiting bodies and, and the propping up of the pinheads air exchange you have to maintain proper ventilation and give the airflow for around 5 to 8 hours during the fruiting stage 
This mushroom neither takes a lot of time it can be grown very fast the vegetative phase last uh, for around 25 to 40 days it will depend upon the growing bag and the fruiting uh, fruiting blocks you are making if you make smaller bags you will have this mushroom much faster and that's what i also prefer so you should uh, be having the vegetative phase of around 25 to 30 days and once the mycelium covers the substrate completely Uh, all you need to do is that make slits in the grow logs or bags and provide a moist environment. Cropping shall begin in five to ten days, and the total cropping cycle is of around eight to ten weeks. So you will have around three flushings, healthy flushings of this mushroom. So the mushroom is quite basic. You can simply grow. The major things will be first. You will be having your substrate ready. Once you have them, soak it in in the water and. Uh, ensure that they are hygiene they are pure and then what you need you need to maintain the moisture level of around 60% once your substrate is ready ready just fill it up in your pp bags and autoclave them autoclaving ensures that there are no other competitive microorganisms or any organisms present in the substrate and your mycelium uh, will be easily able to consume all the substrate and for that you need to do the inoculation inoculation process involves uh, you need to maintain a sterile environment where you will be transferring your spawn inside those bags and under that hygienic condition once you make them just close it using a cotton so that the air circulation inside the bags happens easily and Uh, after that what is the need is that you have to just wait and maintain the environment as i already mentioned and within 25 to 40 days the bags will be completely white the mycelium will completely consume all the available resources and they will be ready for the fruiting stage and for the fruiting stage just you need to make slits in the grow bags and maintain a moist environment the cropping shall begin in 5 to 10 days for that you need to lower the temperature a bit like 2 to 3 degrees celsius and high, make a sudden shock of increase of the humidity and the moisture and you will start having this mushroom just repeat the cycles and you will have around 3 three, uh, three harvest good harvest easily from this the harvest the wood fungi are delicate and soft in the initial stage of fruiting and with time they start to drying up it should be hard harvested um, delicately one by one pulling from the base it can be directly marketed fresh or further dried as per your demand uh, the uh, the demand for this dry jelly mushroom is increasing day by day and once the dry jelly mushrooms are dipped in hot water they then submerged in the cold water it regains its shape and size and becomes just like the fresh mushroom that's its best thing uh, the dried mushrooms have really very good shelf life if stored in an airtight container it will last for several years there are several different varieties of mushroom which you can learn and earn from uh, if you are having your vacant space in your home or if you are in a hobbyist or you are looking for an alternative source of income or a full time business you can easily start mushroom cultivation there are several kinds of mushrooms to choose from like oyster shiitake lion's mane paddy straw milky a lot of things just visit bmmushroom.com there we are offering several kinds of online training course and mushroom spawn as well there are courses where we are also offering uh, the buyback facility where if you cultivate and you won't need to worry about anything you can just sell it uh, sell it back to us and we will be ready to purchase it all you need to do is just visit the bmmushroom.com or just call us and our executive will explain all the details thank you we will be back with more videos on mushroom cultivation have a great day happy mushrooming